Well, a very Merry Christmas to you all and thanks so much for following us through 2021. I thought I'd give you a little glimpse behind the scenes here in the workshop to show you some of the things that have gone on over the last couple of weeks in the run-up to Christmas. Well, first up we have Mark on the forge who is heating up some steel so that we can bend it round to form coal rails for the top of this locomotive. It's actually a Darjeeling Himalayan Railway B-Class built by Sharp Stewart in the 1800s and actually, secretly, this is a seven and a quarter inch gauge Romulus that we've heavily modified and heavily rebodied into our own design and to look like the Darjeeling B-Class. You can see here Mark has heated the metal so that it's soft and malleable and he can bend it round as you can see to form the shape that we want, which you'll then cut and weld and grind to smooth later. This is a B1 on steam test in the other part of the workshop. And John resetting the return crank on the five inch gauge 15XX. And then Billy removing the wheel set so that we could work on the axle boxes. There's a, a five inch gauge castle here, which has proved to be a huge job. Ian is here removing some metal from the back of the cylinders because the bogey on the front didn't have enough side clearance to go around the corners and then Finn refitting the side tanks to the 15XX half the wheel sets having gone back in again. Ian putting the bogey back in on the front of the castle to check that the side clearance is enough so that we can get it to go around the corners properly. And another engine ready for steam test here, um, being prepared to go to a new owner. Um, this one sold just before Christmas. This is a three and a half inch gauge British Rail Britannia class, unusually painted in black. Um, Mark shoveling some more coal on. It actually ran beautifully smoothly, this one, which is a rare thing straight out of the box. Usually we have to do quite a bit of work one way or another to engines. Um, this is a three and a half inch gauge Stania class four tank to a design called Jubilee by Martin Evans. The superheaters had blown a hole when we tried to test them. And this is John repairing it by brazing on the end. Um, I think we shortened them and then brazed the end on a little bit closer up. And this is John doing that job. Back to the 15XX, the tanks are going on with Finn there. That one's almost ready for steam tests. Outside in the yard now, this is Neil giving a four inch scale Burrell single crank compound uh, steam test to make sure that the work that we've done and it's okay. There wasn't much to do on this one, resetting safety valves. The regulator, as we seem to find is always the way with four inch scale traction engines, wouldn't seat properly. So we put a new face in there and made that work again. Got a cracking engine still for sale on the website. This is the class four tank running on air just to make sure everything was okay in the workshop there. Um, this is John and Dave on the two lathes, not sure what they do. Um, John is making a bush by the looks of it for the full-size Fowler locomotive that we're restoring. Um, and then moving on, this is Billy working on the three and a half inch gauge haul, Keppel Dewey haul that we had um, for sale on the website. Um, it's been bought and it's being prepared ready for a new owner. And there's the 15XX in five inch gauge that you've seen us do work on in the workshop. Finn filling it up with water on steam tests. This one's a cracking locomotive, a seven and a quarter inch gauge Avon side built Cabri tank locomotive. Um, beautifully made. Here we're doing a little bit of work inside the dome on the regulator steam pipe. Um, straight back to the Capel Dewey Hall um, in three and a half inch gauge. Billy has had the running boards removed here. He's obviously been working on the water pump that's just exposed there. This is the inner firebox of a Great Western locomotive that we had problems with the boiler, it was leaking. So we did what we always do, we repair it. Um, so this has come right back to the bare bones of the boiler and this is the inner firebox with John Silver soldering in the inner backhead um, where the hole is for the coal to go through. And looking down the regulator tube of a five inch gauge sterling single that also um, sold in the recent Christmas sale. John here pushing the regulator rod back down through from the front um, and then it fastens with the gland at the back end here at the, the foot plate. This, I think, is the three and a half inch gauge hull that you've seen with the running boards all back on again uh, on steam test, finally getting ready before it goes to its new owner. Really pretty engine, that. Um, this is the suspension balance beam for the full-size Fowler that you may be following the series where we're restoring. Uh, Neil here is clocking up the pins on the end so that we can machine a bore through the middle to take a better um, bush. Um, this is the Capri tank fully back together again on its first test. We hadn't steamed this one before, so it was really interesting to fire it up and see how it went. And it went every bit as well as it looks. There's the Sterling single put back together on steam test with Ian at the helm. Um, Billy testing the Cadbury's tank backwards, um, trying to get a few engines steam tested here together. This is just a couple of days before Christmas, trying to get a few out of the door before the Christmas break. 
Um, here's John fiddling with the injector on the class 4 tank you've seen us working on earlier in the video and Finn on the foot plate keeping an eye on the steam pressure. Everything seemed to run quite nicely there, it's all ready to go and that one again was delivered to its new owner before um, we stopped for Christmas. On the foot plate now of the uh, seven and a quarter inch gauge Cadbury's Avonside Loco. I thought you might like this because it's a beautiful engine. You can see exactly how it works and how it's driven. There's the fire. Um, quite a low fire because it steams extremely freely. Opening the regulator, you can see the steam comes out through the drain cocks. And as it does, it gradually starts pushing the pistons back and starts to accelerate the engine. This is really quite a nice scale model. Even the things like the windows open, just like they would on the full size. And it, it almost feels like you're on a full size engine when you're inside the footplate of a detailed model like this. Well, a stunning model, that one of the ones that it's difficult to part with as enthusiasts. As was this one, a three and a half inch gauge Britannia built by Ken Young, a chap that I knew for many years ago. Really nice chap and a really good model engineer. Beautifully running here, ready to go to its lucky new owner in the new year. So there we are. Have a Merry Christmas, a fantastic new year. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all in 2022.